So you go to the spa and what do you expect? Well, if you go to a beauty salon spa, um, you might just expect to have a relaxing day and have your skin feel really good, but is that going to last? Well, I went two weeks ago now to the museum spa. It's been quite a morning. Um, I lost an earring. I had someone break into my car, but I am here at the museum spa getting ready to try out one of their facial peels and I think I'm just about ready to go in. Heading through the wooden door. One side is plastic surgery. One side is the medical spa, which is where I'm heading. I just finished up at the museum spa. Um, I haven't really looked in the mirror yet, so I don't really know how awful I look, uh, or maybe how good I look. What I can tell you is this. Um, you do have to suffer a little for your beauty. Not a whole lot though, so today, what I had done is a microdermabrasion, which I've never had done before, and I also had some photography that revealed a lot of things that I can't see on my skin that are there. So it turns out, especially due to my skin type, I have a lot of sun damage. And maybe you can't see it on my skin. I do tend to freckle, but there is a lot under the surface. Also, have some great products I can't wait to try and we're going to see how that works on my skin. Now when I came out of the office, my skin felt so smooth, like literally like someone had sanded it and buffed it and it felt great. Um, but one of the things that they really talked about there, especially Colette, who is uh, the esthetician that I worked with, they talked about um, how to continue making your skin look good and how to help heal and, and prevent some of that sun damage from coming to the surface. So I was more than fortunate to have Colette hook me up with um, five different products to help with my skin. What do I think two weeks later? I like my skin. Of course, it always looks better when I'm hydrated and I get some sleep, which is not always the case. Um, I will tell you that the first day that I started using the products, I hated my skin. It just looked awful and it just the, the cream felt so heavy and it made my skin look shiny and it looked awful. And I said, nope, I'm gonna give it a few weeks and let my skin normalize. So I did that and then what happened is I started getting some dry red patches here, which some of it comes with changing of the season, but I think some of it comes with some of the acid, which is why I, I skipped just a couple nights. Um, but I'm happy to say, and, and I did up amount the, uh, the amount of moisturizer that I use, but I'm happy to say that I think my skin has pretty much um, normalized. I like the way it's looking. Um, I know a lot of the things I'm doing are for long-term effect, so I, you know, it's gonna take some time before I really can see the difference, and probably some of it is just preventative. So I guess the control would be, you don't do anything to your skin, and let's see how we look in three years. I'm just kidding. So far, I'm, you know, I'm pretty happy. Um, everything that I do, even though the museum spa has been kind enough to provide the services and products for me, I'm always adding up in my head how much this costs and what it would be out of pocket and whether or not I feel it's worth it. And um, so far, I have to tell you that if you have the budget for it, you need to treat your skin just like you would treat your hair or your body or your clothes or, or whatever it is. It's an important thing to feeling good about yourself. And um, hopefully I'm getting there.